statement. Let's come back and see the next set of reactions. That is a reaction in what a Grignard's reagent. So remember, so Grignard's reagent is RMGX. We very well know it basically is going to show addition reaction. Means that means whenever you see magnesium, basically in your textbook, you're, you're given Grignard's reagent RMGX with dry ether, or magnesium with dry ether. Look here, magnesium with dry ether, magnesium with dry ether, RMGX with dry ether, dry ether. So basically, your two types of reactions. One is whenever you see MGX with dry ether, that is Grignard's addition reaction. Whenever you see a uh, uh, dry ether only with sodium, here it is magnesium and dry ether is Grignard's. Sodium and dry ether is Wood's reaction, basically. Remember. So once again, I'm reminding: if it is sodium and dry ether, I'm speaking in terms of uh, Wood's reaction. If it is magnesium and dry ether, I'm speaking in terms of Grignard's reagent. Let me see. Now I have this alkyl halide. Okay, in the exam paper, first how should you do? Now uh, suppose I have this. I said it is addition, isn't it? The whole magnesium goes and adds to this. First thing is addition. Done. Now immediately once it is added, you need to hydrolyze the reaction. When you hydrolyze the reaction, first important thing, your uh, this particular hydrogen goes here and MgOHBr comes out. This is what we have learned done so let's see the reaction now here i have one more now let us start with the example now concept is first you need to add then hydrolyze it finally you get here alkane from alkyl halide you're getting alkane as well as mgohbr now let's, let's try with this so suppose in this particular reaction i said mgbr goes and adds now copy the same now same thing no2 is here and you're getting mgbr addition reaction isn't it as soon as you add you're going to hydrolyze the reaction when you hydrolyze the reaction your h goes and comes and adds here and and you will be getting your mgohbr look here mgohbr so let us write that mgohbr and what you are hydrogen goes and adds so what am what am i going to get i am going to get a product like this already the bond has formed that's it now here in the second reaction one more set suppose i have i've already shown this in earlier video grignard's reagent is going to add two aldehydes ketones as well as uh, your uh, like both formaldehyde ketones as well as acetaldehydes now directly if i have to see the reaction just observe carefully done now uh, uh, what do we have here you have formaldehyde now what what happens look here this whole grignards is adding to formaldehyde so how when this is whole thing is added first is r okay now ch2 i'm just adding it ch2 o mgx ch2 o mgx done that is over fine so after that i'm going to hydrolyze this when you hydrolyze this this is going to break exactly here so this becomes r like look here so this also breaks here r ch2 okay what, what should you remember r no this is wrong isn't it i should not break it here i have to break it here r ch2 o and h alcohol done and leftover is mgohbr I'm getting alcohols so al uh, formaldehyde got converted to alcohol so let us write this now with ketones what should you add you have to add the complete thing to this r now c is here this is r here to this oxygen your mgx will add and your r now i'm going to hydrolyze this done i need to hydrolyze this so immediately hydrolyze so the bond is going to break here done so what happens here also the bond is going to break what do you get you're going to get r here c r and to this oxygen your hydrogen will add and your r uh, here is this and your leftover mgohx or mgohbr simple so uh, one second let us try now this is aldehyde this is again grignard's reagent i need to add the whole thing to this now same thing uh, your r is here and then your carbon is here your this one hide uh, one more alkyl group your hydrogen is here to this oxygen your mg o mgx is added done so now i'm going to hydrolyze this reaction when i hydrolyze i need to break this bond here i need to break this bond also here what do i get i get r c r your oh and h plus 
MgOH Br or MgOH X. This is the reaction. So always you need to add the whole thing and hydrolyze it. Add the whole thing, hydrolyze it. Simple. So that is one type of Grignard's reagent addition reaction. Now everywhere see here, I've added here, hydrolyzed. Added here, hydrolyzed. Added here, hydrolyzed. Same procedure. Now suppose there's one more set of reaction where you have sodium metal with dry ether this is magnesium metal with dry ether and now this is sodium metal with dry ether so basically this is Wood's reaction isn't it done so Wood's reaction uh, here i've picked up uh, aryl uh, halide and alkyl halide so what will happen nax comes out done and uh, both the alkyl and aryl group will link let us start now here you have one more reaction here what happened most of the students they get confused if they give ar they'll get confused nothing it is only aryl group that is benzene ring now what will happen your nax is out nax is out done so nax nax now what is formed the same compound r so why I have taken this step because this is magnesium dry ether, this is sodium dry ether. So all the reactions of your textbook are here. Now let us start. Now in the second case, again the same thing, Na with dry ether. Take out NaX. Done. So what do you have? I have two aryl rings linked together. This is also linked, this is also linked. Let us see the next. Now here you have magnesium. So whenever you have magnesium, you need to add directly. So in the presence of dry ether, try to make it MgBr. Done. So this on further hydrolysis, you get your benzene ring out because that bond goes inside and MgOHBr. That's it. Simple, isn't it? Done. Let me start. Here, what do I have? I have Na ether, dry ether. That means I need to follow Wood's reaction. If it is magnesium dry ether, I need to follow Grignard's reaction, addition. Here, I need to follow Wood's reaction. So, what do they give me? Basically, this reaction means 2Rx means it is Rx plus Na plus Rx. This is what is your reaction. So, what do I take? I take Nax out and I am going to get R and R plus Nax. Simple, isn't it? Done. Now, here one more. What do you give me? They have given me magnesium dry ether. What should I do? I need to add to this. So, take that whole ring and your Br is here and MgBr. Now, further this is hydrolyzed MOH. When you are hydrolyzing it, this is going to break here. What do I get? I am going to get this because MgBr comes out with this. So, what do I get? MgOHBr and your bromine is here only and this hydrogen has gone in. Now, let's see one more reaction here. This is a very important reaction. Grignard's reagent with carbon dioxide. Now, this is one set where I have shown you uh, direct addition. This is one more set where I have shown you Wood's reaction. Here, I ha here I'm going to show you with carbon dioxide, the specific reaction. Now, observe carefully what is happening here. Your RMGX and I said it is going to add, this also going to add to carbon dioxide. See here, RCO2 MGX, you need to add. Once you add, you are going to hydrolyze it completely. When you hydrolyze it completely, I said this is going to break the bond here. This is also going to break the bond here. Now see here, RCOOH, right, acid. Then with carbon dioxide, you get an acid. With here, you get an alcohol, aldehydes and this one. So, MgOHx is as usual out. Okay, let us write one more reaction. Here, what do they give me? Here, they have given me cyclo compound. There is no aromatization inside. MgBr, Mg in the of dry ether. Nothing to do. I need to write the product as MgBr. And further hydrolyzed, you can write the product. Done. So, here what happened? They have given two cyclo rings with Mg sorry with Br and magnesium what should I do when they uh, join together okay let us hydrolyze this also and see HOH what will happen you are going to get that bond formed plus MgOH Br done yes now in this case what will happen you have the ring and you have MgBr forming and you have one more ring to this when it uh, hydrolyzes and these two rings will join together with the bond and you have MgOHBr that's it.
this is your green nuts so the more than this ncrt will not or you don't have any other reaction more than this first set addition second set woods reaction third set with carbon dioxide simple so only three types of woods grignard's reagent addition or in the presence of dry ether they've given you this done so let's come back and see this set now what is this set speaking about basically here in this set they've given me now reactions involving hno3 h2so4 so this is what this is a nitrate mixture isn't it HNO3 H2SO4 is a nitrating mixture so nitrating mixture now in the, this is an electrophilic substitution reaction so in this nitrating mixture what am I going to add I'm going to add see all these reactions in your textbook now observe carefully one chapter is given with halo alkenes halorines all right one more is given in ethers one is given in amines one is given in aldehydes one is given in acid chapter one is given again in ethers one is given in acetyl chlorides so it means acet acetoxy rather so all all the uh, functional groups are given but concept is the same I need to add an electrophile so here when I have chlorobenzene I have HNO3 and H2SO4 I need to add the electrophile that is NO2 NO2 is the electrophile is NO2 plus is electrophile where will it add and go and add ortho position and para position so in the exam whenever you see nitrating mixture HNO3 and H2SO4 you need to first remember that you need to add NO2 plus at the ortho position and para positions both done so let me start now my concept is clear nitrating mixture will add no2 at this one done suppose if you have sulfuric acid only so sulfuric acid the electrophile is so3h right so why should i add i should add one at ortho position and para position let's start the reactions so chlorobenzene now i have electrophilic substitution so3 ortho position one and second one would be at the para position chlorine with so3h Done. okay now next I have an ether reaction here now careful this ether they have given me again nitrating mixture so when I when they give me nitrating mixture simple I need to add NO2 plus so where should I add now take that ether in this way okay I said ortho and para to this ether group this is your opposite say. see here this is opposite para so this is para to this now I I have to write ortho compound. I'm going to take OC OC to H5 and I'm going to add towards this side. Okay, or para to this, ortho to this. Done. Now I have aniline. Done. So aniline, I need to add uh, nitro uh, compound, isn't it? So take this. Right. So now this is your uh, aniline which is present. Done. So now this is your aniline opposite para to that i'm going to write no2 right no2 is a group which is para to that so ortho also you can write that so now i have aldehyde group so when i when i have aldehyde group most important thing you have to remember same like same it's a para position and ortho position isn't it now this is your aldehyde cho your para to this and cho Maybe my ring is not clear and ortho to this. Done. Now let's come back and see with carboxylic acid. You have two carboxylic acid groups. So oh, what will happen? Yeah. <coughs> now in this compound, you have para already occupied. So COH, I get what do I have? I have nitrating mixture. COH. So I'm going to write this as this because this is a group which is present. Meta in deactivating group. Now, second, now let us start with this. If I write carboxylic acid, now ortho positions and para positions both are present. One is ortho group, and one more I'm going to take with COH at para group. That. So, benzene ring, simple, nothing. I can directly write at um, ortho nitrobenzene and I can write one more as para nitrobenzene. Done. So, now I have what group? I have methoxy group. Done. This is your uh, OCH3. So, what should I write? I have to write one at para position OCH3. Done done now nitro is one position i am going to write one more och3 at ortho position no2 yeah that. now let me see the last reaction so these are the basic all these reactions of all the chapters are here 
Now when I take this, this is COCH3, so nothing to do. You are going to copy the same COCH3, you are going to write NO2 here at the para position and you are going to write NO2 at the ortho position, COCH3 ortho position. That's it. Simple, isn't it? Done. So now the reaction of uh, nitration is done. Reaction of Grignard's. Let's come back and see one more set of reactions. So what is this set speaking about? Very important. Now what is this? You have two types of KOHs in organic chemistry. One is alcoholic KOH and one is aqueous KOH. Remember. Aqueous KOH is going to always uh, sub, uh, separate out means whenever you see aqueous KOH in the paper that means what should you do you need to replace the OH minus of KOH with Cl remember that okay so what should you remember aqueous KOH means it's going to form alcohol alcoholic KOH means it's going to form alkene remember that yes once again aqueous KOH means it's going to form alcohol alcoholic KOH means it's going to form alkenes so what will happen your alcoholic KOH is going to replace one hydrogen from here and one Br from here so and this bond will shift here so this is minus HBr what do I get I'm going to get CH3 this double bond here okay and double bond here C okay CH2 and CH3 okay my memory it is not really stone actually CH3 done this is it this is alkene so aqueous KOH will form alcohol alcoholic KOH will give me alkene now what is this reaction why did I take this I have taken carbylamine reaction here I have already done this video carbylamine you can watch the video I am not writing it because it's very lengthy here so all the KOH reactions are picked up under one box you have only these three Al alcoholic uh, aqueous KOH you have alcoholic KOH you have again in carbylamine reaction you also again have uh, KOH which will form isocyanide so you can watch the video for carbylamine reaction Thank <laughs> you.